Hello everyone, I'm Sean Boyd in the State Operations Center here at Cal OES. As California emerges from the Omicron variant surge, Cal OES is working to ensure our state is ready and able to adapt for the next phase of the pandemic. A key part of this preparation is stocking and shipping personal protective equipment. To date, Cal OES has distributed more than 1.6 billion pieces of PPE to Californians and its visitors. That's a billion with a B. Cal OES is also working to improve the system of sharing information for suspected child abuse cases. Cal OES awarded $200,000 in grants to the Sacramento District Attorney's Office. Those funds will help modernize the electric suspected child abuse report system program. Cal OES also assisted 14 local governments in applying for federal grants totaling $250 million. This grant funding will cover 70% of the total costs for projects that are designed to build resiliency and protect people and property in disaster prone areas. Finally, February 16th marked the 54th year of existence for the National 911 System. The first California 911 system was installed in the city of Gustine in Merced County way back in March of 1970. And did you know that Cal OES facilitates the 911 emergency system in California? In December, Cal OES put the first next gen 911 system online in California in Tuolumne County. Next gen 911 provides multi layered redundancy and a common technology platform for alerts and warnings, making the citizens and visitors to this state more safe than ever.